So what will happen is I will see, even though that I did some of these problems in my first class, I'm doing some of these problems in my second class, I'm doing some of these problems in my third class, which should give you probably about half of them done by the time I assign. And I'm not going to tell you that it's this pages here that you could look at later, but you'll probably have at least half of them done that if you decided to get on the tube of you and check your work and write down the answers on the pages 319, 320 that I'm not assigning until Monday. No, as long as you're watching my channel. All right, so I want you to think. I want you to think, not answer. This is my zero talking fist. And I want you to think about what we're going to start with on this particular problem. What we're going to start with on this particular problem. Take a moment to think, and then I'll call on someone. Put your hands down, I'm calling randomly. So what we're going to do on this particular problem. Hannah, what do we start with on this particular problem? Why? Other parentheses, good. We start, <coughs> excuse me, we start the brackets first. The biggest grouping symbol first. The brackets have the biggest grouping symbol. And then we do the problem, the expression in the problem that's inside the bracket symbol. Now think for a moment. Think for a moment. Why did I call this? an expression and not an equation. Think. Why did I call it an expression and not an equation? Anna? Yeah. Why did I call it an expression and not an equation? Because there's no equal sign. There's no equal sign. If I have this problem without an equal sign, then it's an expression. With an equal sign, it's an equation. All right, so Hannah told us we start inside the brackets in the parentheses inside the brackets. So let's go. Delaney, I want to know the difference between 21 and 13. Eight. Plus. Um, Oscar, I want to know the difference between 32 and 24. The difference between 32 and 24. Oscar's got them. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. Thirteen. Eight. Eight. And then we multiply that by four. Now, think for a moment. Think about what we do next. David, what do we do next? We don't, I don't have a 16 anywhere. David? Good, I add the two eights together to get the sum, and David was right, of 16. Why do I do that before I multiply? because it's in the brackets. Not just because it shows up first in the problem, but because it's in the brackets. We always do the grouping symbols first. And so we have 16 multiplied by 4. We need to find the product of 16 and 4. So think for a moment. Think for a moment. So when I call on you, I don't have to have somebody go, um, okay, um, let me um, figure it out. Somebody can already tell me. Renaya. 
64. So now I simplified this, this expression. Now the instructions, when you see instructions that will say simplify the expression, all that means is take it down to as concise as you can get it. And it doesn't mean always find the answer. Because as you move up in math, you'll find that some problems, the when you've simplified it, you have... 2y plus x. And that might be as simple as it can get. Okay, so that's why it's called simplify and not just solve. We're breaking it down to the smallest piece we can have where we can't do any more math. So hopefully you have this written down because there's a chance it could show up on an assignment that you may see assigned on Monday that will be due Thursday, not Friday because we have no school on Friday, but an assignment that will be due Thursday. Well, I mean, I have school, but does it matter why? No. Does it matter why? No. If I said why because the butterflies are flying, or I said why because it's Veterans Day, is that going to keep you home any differently? No, thank you. All right, let's look at another problem. I want you writing these down. Plus 35. 35. All right, so. You have this problem written. Now, if I were to say this problem in words, if I were to say this problem in words, now listen how I say it, because you're going to have to start using math words when you're writing, when we're doing problem solving, and you're going to have to go through a whole bunch of steps. You're going to start using math words. So I would say... The product of 2 and 6 plus 3 added to the product of 7 and or of 35 subtract 7 and, and the, yes subtract the product of 7 and 3 Okay there are many ways I could say it but we're going to be using product sum difference and you're going to be have to know the order you would say it in. Reed, stop chewing on your eraser. All right, so think time. Think about this question. The question is, where are we going to start on this particular problem? I want you to think about that. It's not time for lunch yet. Stop looking, Katie. All right, Delaney, where are we going to start on this particular problem? Good. We need to find the product of 2 and 6. Why? Because it's in brackets and it's Good. It is the first bracket. We're going to do everything in the first bracket because that comes before the second bracket. So if we have multiple sets of grouping symbols, we work them from left to right, just like you read. Left to right, not right to left, not top to bottom, not bottom to top. Left to right. All right, and inside the grouping symbol, I have two, find the product of two and six, and then I add three to the product of two and six. <clears throat> so Delaney, what is the product of two and six? That is 12. 12? And this is what I have in my brackets now. Now I do... Now I do the second set of brackets, and Benjamin, looking at this second set of brackets, in this particular problem, what do I do first? Um, 
subtract 35 minus um I mean, 35 subtract 35 and and seven times three. Good. I want this to find the product seven find the product of seven and three and subtract that from thirty-five. So what do I start with, Benjamin? Um, uh, I start with my grouping symbols. Multiplying Good. Seven. I find the product of seven and three. And what is the product of seven and three, Benjamin? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. And inside this bracket, I haven't used that. Again, brackets, so I move from left to right. Class, in unison, when I say in unison, I want it together, not racing through where one person says it in a fourth of a second and the other person says it in four and a half minutes. Class, what is the sum of 12 and 3? 15. 15. Now, thank you for the five of you that actually participated. My pastor does that. He's like, how you doing this morning? And, every, you know, like five people go... Doing good. And he says, well, thanks to the five of you that are in church today. So I was just using a joke from Pastor Goins. So, pastor Goins? Who is that? Yeah. He's, he's my pastor. All right, so class, what is the sum of 12 and 3? 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. Class, what is the difference of 35 and 21? Okay. We don't need to make a bunch of extra noise. Now we're down to having one operation left. Preston, what is the sum of 15 and 14? 29. Now, okay, Savannah, stop please. Now, when you're looking at problems like this, you should notice how they kind of funneled down, and they look like, I don't know, you could describe it very many ways, but I like to describe it as they look like a tornado. Now do not panic, because it's not actually a tornado. It looks like a tornado. It's not an actual tornado. That makes me feel a lot better. Yes. All right, so let's look at another problem. You're writing this down. We have brackets. Inside we have 13 minus 9 in parentheses. We're multiplying that by 3. Close brackets. We're adding inside of another set of brackets. The difference of 14... Why are we talking instead of writing? 14 and 8. That's inside parentheses. We're multiplying that by 2. And then we close our, parent our brackets. You, 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 you can't do you can't yeah. 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 Did I write that wrong? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's 13. Oh, you said it right. 13 yeah. subtract well, 9. You said it. I said it correctly. I just yes. wrote it incorrectly. Yeah. So now those of you at home, please stop the video, pause it, work this problem out, press, press, press play, and then we'll continue on and you'll see the answer. For those of you in class, just pretend like you paused it, write this down, I'm giving you think time, I'm going to call on somebody to tell me on this particular problem where we begin. On this particular problem, where we begin. Hopefully you're writing these down, because there's a greater than 99% chance that I assign pages 319, 320 from your textbook that you'll have to do on Monday, do Thursday. Please put that away, Reed. Thank you, Reed. All right, so on this particular problem, Scarlett, where do we start? 13 minus 9. Good. We've got to find the difference of 13 and 9 because we're doing the brackets from left to right. And inside this bracket, 
in this grouping symbol, we have another grouping symbol, which is the parentheses, which tells us we have to find the difference of 13 and 9, which is what, Scarlett? Four. Four. We bring down everything inside that bracket that we have not used. And then, Scarlett, I want to find the product of 4 and 3. 12. 12. Now, I'm done with that grouping symbol. I'm done with my brackets. I'm done with my parentheses. I'm going to go to my next grouping. My next grouping. And, Oscar, in this bracket, what would I do first in this particular bracket? I subtract. I do inside the parentheses first. So, Oscar, what's the difference of 14 and 8? 6. 6. So I have 6 multiplied by 2. Anybody know why I use the floating dot for this, Savannah? Read over here. It is another symbol for multiplication. As I get closer to working in algebra, which you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna deviate here. I'm gonna do a little um, do a little squirrel chase here. You guys have done algebra since you learned to add and subtract. Yeah. You've done algebra. If I were to give you now, this isn't part of the problem we're doing. I'm just a little bird walking here. If I gave you the problem, which I know you saw when you were adding and subtracting, when you were, I don't know, minus nine years old, you might have seen a problem. You might have seen a problem like that when you're just an itty bitty school child. It looked like that. That's an algebra problem. That's an algebra problem. Instead of writing with a letter, Instead of writing with a letter, they just put the box in to make it so much easier so that you didn't panic. So what happens when you get to the using algebra and I start putting letters in there, what has happened in the past, but you guys are way smarter than that, what has happened in the past is people freak out like, I've never done algebra, it's got a Y in it. Well, you've done that. It's a symbol. Algebra means a letter or symbol taking the place of a number. So you've done that. All right, so Oscar, you were helping me here. Um, the answer is... What is the product of 6 and 2? 12. 12. Let's bird walk a little bit more. 6 and 2 are called what? Factors. 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 6 and 2 are factors. The product is 12. So now, if y'all have done all the math correctly, yes. we have to add 12 and 12. We need to find the sum of 12 and 12, which would be what, Rocky? Is 24. So I'm not checking the math. I don't already have the answers. I'm working this out. So if we followed and did this problem in the correct order, and we did all our arithmetic correctly, then we would get an answer of 24. Let's work one more, people. Yes. Yay. Oh, let's see. Can I, can I, can I help you? Can I help you this time? Can I, help I don't know. This doesn't require talking, though. The talking's kind of annoying to me. Okay? So that's my problem. That's what you have written on your paper right now. Those of you that are participating in class in a correct manner, that's what you have written down. Now we have three grouping symbols there. We have one set of brackets and we have two sets of parentheses. Well, the bigger of the grouping symbols 
is the bracket. So we're going to start with what's in the bracket first. So Anton, on this particular problem, what would you do first? Good, I need to find the product of 3 and 4. Still going to stay inside my brackets. The product of 3 and 4 is what, Anton? 12. Then I need to find the product of 9 and 2. What is that, Anton? 18. And this stays in my bracket. What if I didn't put my brackets here? What would I do first? If I had this problem instead, if I had 49 minus 12 plus 18, what would I do first? I would do 49 minus 12. Because remember, addition and subtraction are the same step, and you work them from left to right, like you read, unless you're Savannah, who reads from right to left, just because she's crazy. All right, so now we have a grouping symbol. We have a grouping symbol. Savannah, yes, sir. in this particular problem, this particular expression, what do we do first? 12 plus 18. Good. We find the sum of 12 and 18, which is what, Savannah? 30. Then we find the difference of 49 and 30. Which um, gives us um, Lizzie. It gives us Lizzie? 19. It's 19. Yeah. Oh. So we have simplified this expression all the way down to 19. So hopefully you've written it down because you may or may not see it on the pages 319, 320 that I may or may not assign on Monday that I already did some problems in my first class and I'll do more problems in my third class. When will it may or may not be due? It'll may or may not be due on Thursday. Let's do one, but we're going to do it a little quicker. Um, Division? Yes, division. Division was easy. We did that like in elementary. Okay, we're going to start inside. I'm going to go through this faster because we're going to line up for lunch in a couple minutes. So we start inside our brackets. That's the biggest grouping symbol. Inside of our brackets, we have parentheses. We work those parentheses from left to right because that's how you read. <laughs> we find our sum of 15 and 5, which is what class? 20. Which is what class? 20. Thank you. We find our product of 5 and 2, which is what class? Okay, we're not going to do that if you can't act like you have some sense. We leave this part in the brackets because if we don't leave it in the brackets we would do it wrong. If there were no brackets there according to the order you need to do these problems you'd end up dividing first and we don't want to divide 10 divided by 3 because that's just going to be all cattywampus and make us crazy. Next we find the sum of 20 and 10 which is 30. Then we're done inside our brackets we bring down everything we have. We have 30 subtract or divided by 3, which is 10. Thank you very much. Boom shakalaka.